Okay, so we're gonna go over how to install the diode kit into the DR650. This will kind of go along with pretty much most bikes. Um, <clears throat> if you have a single turn indicator on your dash, this is what you're gonna need, this right here. So this will be the little green indicator bulb. Well, it's probably clear behind the lens there, but the one on your dash, you'll open it up, flip it out, and you'll find the two wires coming to that bulb. At least on my DR650, it was a solid black wire coming to the left signal, and then black with a green tracer coming out to the right signal. Okay, to go ahead and get started, we're gonna go ahead and pick one of these wires here. It doesn't matter, they're both a positive wire, signal wire coming into the bulb. So when you turn on your right turn indicator, power sent in here, illuminates the bulb, turn it off, turn your left signal on, same thing. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna make one of them positive and we're gonna turn one of them into a negative. So this is what I did on my bike. Turn that into a negative by taking the wire coming out of it, cut this wire, and then this will become a dead wire here. And the bit of wire coming out from where it would be connected into the bulb, we're going to connect the supplied black wire that comes in the diode kit and we're going to connect it to this wire and then run it to a ground okay or you can run it back to the negative terminal on your battery it doesn't matter as long as and it doesn't matter which one again and this is all done behind the cowling so just imagine you pull the headlight cowling off you literally have your turn indicator your dash up here indicator bulbs there okay we're magnifying this looking in wire going to ground very simple very, very simple. You can solder the wires together. You can use a uh, splice, whatever method you wanna choose, as long as it's a solid uh, and stable connection. Okay, so now we're moving on to our positive side. We're going to cut this out, right? You're just gonna cut the wire, just like I did in the video. The connection, that is, those are going off, they're dead, they're done. We're going to connect in our diode kit all right so we've got our two red wires so we have our blue and sometimes this wire changes colors it's fine uh, if you get one that has red it's just kind of whatever the manufacturer came up with when they made these it doesn't matter as long as it's a single one coming up to the bulb and then two wires coming out are going to go to your left and your right turn signals. So now we have our diode here, it's wired in. I'm gonna take this. This is gonna be your yellow wire. This is yellow too. Okay, so if you got the Cyclops turn signals, this is your new signal wire, the yellow one coming off. It'll be the same color on both sides. This wire right here is going to be a solid black wire. Okay, and this is your old signal wire coming from the bike. And then this one will be a light green, old signal wire coming from the right turn signal. So if you had your turn signal here, positive and negative wire coming off of it. It's going to be so the positive, negative wire. The positive wire here, once you cut it, the wire on this end from the bike is gonna come here. Same thing on that side. Turn signal, splashy, right? Got wires coming off, you got a negative and a positive. Once you cut that line, right? Throw the turn signal away. You're gonna take the wire that was coming in and you're gonna make it come up here okay and that wire is coming in and it's going to come into a butt splice okay all these so you're gonna have a yellow your new yellow signal wire your black old signal wire and this is on the left hand side turn signal they're gonna come together okay you're gonna crimp them together here then you're going to take one of the red wires and you're going to stick the red wire in and you're going to crimp it there. Boom. Okay. So yellow, black, and red. 
all together. Crimp it in. And you're going to take the light green wire and the new yellow signal wire, and you're going to crimp those together. Hopefully this is helping. And everybody's tracking and we'll be able to do this many, many times in their sleep. Those are your new lights. Okay. You got flashy LED turn signals back. Okay, now I've shown you how to integrate the positive signal wire system coming in to your indicator bulb. Now it'll blink, blink appropriately. Now the negative wire from your old turn signal, both of them, when you cut those, this wire coming off will be a black with white stripe or tracer. Same thing on both black with white. Now what you're gonna do is these wires that went to the turn signal, you're now gonna take where you cut them and you're gonna connect them to the negative wire coming off of the new Cyclops turn signal. And this will go also for any of the other LED turn signals that we offer. The black will be negative. Connect the black with white stripe to that negative wire coming off. Black wire, it's a negative wire coming from your stock turn signal. You'll run that to the negative wire coming off of there. All right, so we're gonna go over this just one last time. Make sure everybody gets it fully. This was the bulb on your dash for your turn indicator. That was once a positive. We've made it a negative by making it run to a ground with the supplied black wire. The wire that was connected to the bulb, leave it, okay? You can put a little wire nut on it if you'd like, tape it up with some electrical tape. It's done, okay? Same thing with the other wire coming off of the bulb there. Black with green stripe, at least for me. I noticed that there has been some other color options kind of floating around apparently. This is what was on my bike. Again, it doesn't matter what side you start with. Just pick a side and get it going. That's the easy part. Bring this here, wire in our diode, connect to that wire coming off. This wire comes here, goes into a and you can solder them. Okay, I use butt splices, crimp it there. The other one comes here, crimp it in. All right, now you got to open in on each end. Then you're going to take the old positive wire from the turn signal and the new positive wire from the new turn signal, bring them together and crimp them. So now that's all connected. Old positive wire, new positive wire, bring them together, connected. That's all connected. So now when you turn on your turn signal, it's gonna send power through the old positive wire. i run it in here. And then when it hits this junction, it's gonna send power back out to the turn signal while also simultaneously sending power up through the diode and to the bulb. But this little guy right here is gonna stop the power from bleeding over to the right-hand side. That's why we put these in here stop the bleed over to the other side because your factory turn signal system puts out enough power that it'll actually bleed through and come out to the other side. That's why you'll get a solid link. And then your negative wire from the old turn signals. Okay, we cut them. Then now we run them to the negative wire coming from the new turn signal. And that's it. Very simple. If I can do it, you can definitely do it.